Who are you? Beer Drink Shorty here with another Who Are You review. I actually just looked at my channel and saw that I finally hit 1,500 subscribers, so I'm over the 1,000 mark. I'm catching up to my main channel over there at Beer Drink Shorty. However, this is neither here nor there, but what? Today I'm gonna be reviewing cotton candy grapes from the grapery, as we can see right there, like the drapery. Why do you have them in a, why do you have them in a strainer, Beer Drink? Why do you have them in a strainer? Because I notice a lot of people that review these things, they don't, <laughs> a lot of people that review these things don't wash them. Like they, they'll go to the store, buy them, and then they'll go in the car and pop them. What the f is wrong with y'all Because Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and get into these grapes. They're somewhat expensive, $3.99 a pound. I got 2.64 pounds, ended up being $10 and 60, uh, whatever cent. What? Ah! Go ahead and bring in on one real quick. Looks in a redagle. Um, look, focus. It looks like a regular green grape, okay? Looks like a grape. Sweeter than cotton candy. Y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? That's weird. That's just weird. Sweeter. Did y'all not hear that? What the? What? <laughs> I'm tripping. Hold up. Sweeter than cotton candy. I'm not tripping. Y'all hear that, right? Man, these are crazy good. Sweeter than cotton. Nigga, <laughs> what the? Sweeter than cotton candy. Y'all gotta hear that. Am I tripping? Hold up. Sweet. Hold up. The grapery has something good here. Definitely tastes like cotton candy. However, I think people are over exaggerating the cotton candiness of these grapes. This is a huge one. Look at this one. This one's bigger than your mom. These things are not focusing. Definitely tastes like cotton candy, however. I'm not gonna be a run-of-the-mill reviewer. Oh my god, it tastes so much, it doesn't taste that crazy. They're actually good, truthfully. Okay, that one tasted a lot like cotton candy, truthfully. That one did. Definitely. Tastes a, a little bit like cotton candy. However, see, I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and be like, oh my God, tastes like cotton candy. What? It does taste like cotton candy, but it is what it is. Like I said, I, truthfully, if I want grapes, I want grapes. And that's the thing that this grape, it lacks that uh, tartness that a normal green grape, a white grape would have. It's just straight sweetness. It's pretty much like they took the, uh, the tartness away. They took the... Uh, they took this, the sourness away from the grape and only left the sweetness, and that's what you got in here. And I guess the, that the book, that's probably, ah, I don't even know. That may be the problem. I may need to cleanse my palate. Uh. You know what? On a scale from zero to five, me beer drink, shawty. I will rate the graperies, cotton candy grapes. I'm gonna give them a straight up two. <laughs> Just for the fact, I don't know if it was something wrong with my batch. I don't know if it's something wrong with my hatch. I don't know if it was something wrong with the cabbage patch. Let's turn around while we do the cabbage patch. Isn't this fun? All I know is those grapes, if I could give them a percentile edginess, if I could give them, if I could give them a percentage of, gr uh, of, of cotton candy in this, I would give them a 15% of cotton candy in this because that one tasted a lot like cotton candy. The rest of them tasted like a dash, a dash of cotton candy, a dash of cotton. <sighs> Shh. 
Shout out, Team Dame. Who are you? Put some shoulders into it for some major Cabbage Patch action. Thank <laughs> you.